Muy buenas a todos gente, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos al canal, bienvenidos a un nuevo capítulo de este Suicide of Rachel Foster. Como siempre les digo, muchas gracias por estar ahí, por acompañar al canal. La verdad está creciendo bastante de a poquito y esto es gracias a ustedes. Por, por, por más que suba videos si y no los vean, eh, nada, no, esto es gracias a ustedes. Y como siempre digo, si están y les gusta el contenido, denle un like. Para mí es muchísimo, a usted no le cuesta nada. Y si están a gusto con el contenido, los invito a que te suscribas. Se suscriban y activen la campanita. Bien, vamos a continuar eh, donde nos quedamos con el día número 3. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh. oh. <sighs> Sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. <laughs> About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Mm. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. Okay. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? but. The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Ah. La Polaroid. Pulsados. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. You can try. Tenía un igual que esta. Me pregunto quién es esta. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scandal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Oh, look at that! I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. Why not? Fíjate los objetivos. A ver. Irwin dijo que entrase en el hueco en la zona de personal del primer piso. No está andando muy bien, se me está muriendo por algo en particular. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ponerle media. Ahí 
Ahí va un poco mejor. Bueno, ahí mejor un poquito. Bueno, ¿con qué disparo? Ah. Eh, ¿Dónde dijo? Fíjate acá, Master Suite está saliendo, estás por ahí. Y él dijo en la zona del personal de primer piso. Ah, la de Storage Room. No, Staff Only. La que dice Staff Only. Pero en el piso que estás, eh, no tenés que bajar. Only. Bueno, o será otro. Bueno, no tengo que bajar, así que acá no es. ¡Ay, Dios! El sonido es muy, muy... Ahí es donde dice... Muy bien, mapa. Estás en el medio. Yo estoy acá. Bueno. I can still hear that guy telling me Rachel's alive. If he calls back, go into special protocol mode. Which is? Trying to sell him a vacuum cleaner. Hey, okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. <laughs> What a professional tone. Yeah, I use it when I want to make a good impression. <laughs> You're the only human being I can interact with while I'm hostage here. Whatever you say will impress me. Stuff. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box oh. and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Broken. Kisa? Broken. Mira un televisor. ¿Esto es? Uff. No sé. Capaz, qué sé yo. Sí, sí, al objetivo buscado. No. Ah, pará que no puedo, ¿por qué? 
Irwin dijo que entraste en el hueco en la zona de personal del primer piso. ¿Será esto? No creo, si baja no creo. una puerta que te deja eso. Esta son. Ahí está. Ah, la, esto es la linterna del otro vez. Sí. Agarrar, claramente, preferimos una linterna. Ya te tomó que lo leíste, seguro. que mantener bueno I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight know how to use it I think I just have to push the lever continuously is everything okay when I was a kid I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse The crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> It's called growing up, idiot. Alto ruido. What's wrong? I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay, easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise, who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yeah. Easy. Does it. O sea, no hay que por acá. Claro. Seguí los cables, Juan. No puedo ir un poquito a ver qué. No, dale, seguí los cables, Juan. What? Ah, es un maniquí. Okay. What the fuck, ya malo porque la verdad. Claramente. Ah, ¿No? no, no, claramente no. Ese te dejaba usar uno solo. Bueno, vamos a tener que tocarlo. Uh, hi, I, I want to ask you something. Okay, uh, uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another polar? A lipstick. Huh. Oh. 
What's a lipstick doing here? It's... a... Uh, lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? <laughs> are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well, yeah. Don't You're worry. probably right. Día 4. Un pinta labios por ahí dejando la gente. Tan, taran, tan. Se empieza a poner. Pistas. <coughs> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, uh, okay. Ah, I saw. Ah, mira. Eh, sobre cualquiera. Ah. Sí, me parece. Es en general. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. Quiero desentrañarla. Yeah. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. What do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. All right. Puedes observarlas ahora. Eh, Pastor Foster. ¿eh? You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. <laughs> Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But 
Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. I'm just saying. Uh, right. A ver. El pintalabios. Libro primero. El libro. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel, or Rachel is sad, or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Bueno, pinta labios. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. <laughs> it doesn't smell. Hmm? Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe oh, no, sorry, there's yes. been other women. I mean... No puede ser. From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? Pistas en la pared. Oh, hay un montón. Eh, historia de una amiga. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Uh, who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Mm. But she was a classmate. She couldn't have been wrong. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Hmm. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, well, I'll hear you out. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? Do you think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But... Sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Okay. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. <sighs> I'll follow it to the T. Las bolas. Ah, ah, ahí está. Is she really dead? Chan, chan, chan. Chan, chan, chan. Me gusta porque es como que te va contando una historia mientras estás mirando todo como si fuese. Oh. Sí. 
Está es afuera. Hey, cutie pie. Vamos a dejar el capítulo acá, 25 no. minutos, sí, porque si no, después ya nos vamos a extender y se va a pasar el tiempo. Así que nada más, espero les haya gustado, denle un lindo like, comenten, compartan si quieren y recuerden suscribirse si les gusta mi contenido y activar la campanita para estar al tanto de mis nuevos videos. Nada más, muy interesante, el siguiente capítulo vamos a ver de qué se trata. Sinceramente no sé cuántos días son, pero bueno, vamos a ver cómo sigue la historia. Nada más, nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo de este de Suicide of Rachel Foster. Chao.